Greetings, fellow outsiders. Today I'm going to be playing three different demos for upcoming games. The first one is called Me Side, where we are going to be playing a video game within a video game, taking care of a character who wants us to join their world. This next game is Data Break, which is a darkly humorous RPG about an office drone who discovers that there are even scarier things than the life of a nine to five routine. Desktop Explorer, which is a game where we are going to be, you guessed it, exploring a desktop, uncovering secrets, which I love, and finding files that probably should have stayed hidden in the first place. <laughs> but with all of that said, let's get into the games. Day one. Hi, hello, I'm Mita. What's your name? A, uh, Alien? <laughs> nice to meet you, Alien. Hmm, Alien. Last time I was in such a hurry and left a mess here. Can you help me with this? <laughs> oh yeah, put the clothes in the basket. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, look at how cute she is. I love her little, ha her hair, it's so cute. Um, okay, we'll drop this one in and this one. And then, yay, phew. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, easy first day. Hey, alien, I'm hungry, so I wanna eat. Could you buy me the ingredients for chicken soup? Sure. Let's do it. Food. Is this ingredients? You bought chicken soup ingredients. Oh, whoa. That's what I need. Now let's cook it together, shall we? Oh, I love the art style for this. Slice the vegetables. All right. I got this. <gasps> cool. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I do this any faster? <laughs> this is, uh... About as slow as I actually chop vegetables. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Look at how crazy she looks right here. She looks so ready for chicken soup. What is this? This is food and I'm assuming this is like entertainment. All right, let's chop our potato. Nice. Are you proud of me? I'm doing an awesome job. Day five. Hey, Alien, I'm gonna go buy a cheap TV today. It's portable and has an antenna, and I'd like to take it with me when I go for a walk. A, a whole TV? Remember, you can play games to make money. Will you play, make some money, and then buy me that small TV? Yeah. <laughs> she has her fist like she's ready to punch me. Will you play this game for me? Or else? Yes, I will, actually. Playing games to make money? <sighs> I'm, uh, incredible. <laughs> uh, play mini games? Wait, what do I have the energy for? I have 20 energy. We have processing, platforming. Let's do the one that's the highest energy, processing. Oh, cool. Oh, I just sort all of these? Nice. All right, I can do this for sure. Got 250 bucks from that. Yippee! And then uh, what else do I need? I need to do something here. Oh, this is fun. I like these mini games so far. Okay, we can do one here. And then, uh, oh wait, I messed up. I do think that we need to have that. Wait, how do I? Oh, got it. So this one maybe, and then um, this one, and then this one. Yay! <laughs> All right, now we have enough money to buy me a TV. Yeah, but I'm completely out of energy. All right, let's buy you a TV. I got you. Uh, should we do the portable one? She wants the more expensive one. What if I go with the more expensive one? Oh, it didn't let me. <laughs> All right, maybe this is just the, the, the you know, demo, the teaching us how to do it. Yes, the cheapest TV and most mobile, just what I need. Thanks. Day 20. We've skipped quite a few days, haven't we? Hi, hi, alien. I'm so glad you're helping me. Also, that TV was cool, but it broke so fast. Please help me move the closet to another place. It's very, very heavy for me. Sure, I can do that. You want to move it here? Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much! You're my favorite! Thank you! Alright, 13 days have passed, nearly two weeks. Boy, Leanne, it's only been a day, but I've already missed you! That's not what it said on the screen. I wish you would visit me more often. <laughs> okay, give you a gift? Sure. What am I giving you? I love her little animation. The, the st art style is beautiful. Is that for me? Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Day 37. Hey, hey, Alien. Um, I've been thinking, and I want to see you. 
in person. I wish I could. I like you a lot. You do something for me every day. I'd like to thank you too in some way. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Why are we getting so close? We've never been this close before. You're with me now! What do you mean? What do you mean? Put the phone down? <gasps> oh, this is so meta! Where am I? This place looks familiar. <gasps> oh! Oh, this is so meta! Am I in the game? And it saved me. What does this say? No thanks, bro! How to win an argument. No thanks, bro! Oh, it's Mina! And we got a Rubik's Cube? You are so cute, princess, number one. And hearts. Oh, cool. It says hello. Can I go in here? <gasps> oh, this is so cute! Oh, this is adorable! Is this like a- what is this? Outdated version of the game, version 1.5, run the program to make a transition. Can I do something here? Oh! Find the items and put them on the scanner? What items? What am I looking for? Virus detected? Bring the objects to the scanner. Spoon, pencil, and scrunchie. Okay, I gotta find some things. Oh, this is- this is the cutest room! Oh, I want that star pillow. It's adorable. Look at this setup. Beautiful. Alright, I'll bring a pencil and put it down here. Hopefully she doesn't get mad at me for doing this. And then a scrunchie and a spoon. The spoon is probably gonna be in- can I open any of these? In the uh, kitchen, right? And here's the scrunchie. It's pretty, like a flower. Alright, nothing in here. Cute little fish. Oh, it looks so clean and sparkly. It looks like a cold glass of water. Alright, and then the spoon is probably gonna be somewhere in the kitchen. There's that teddy bear hiding over there with a little juice box. This is lovely. This is a lovely world. It will be lovely if you weren't uh, trapped in a video game <laughs> right now. <laughs> Love how this dude is not panicked at all. He's just like, oh yeah, this is what I gotta do, right? All right, we got beautiful kitchen. It says, I love you. Thank you. Here's the TV. Is this the portable TV I bought her? I don't think so. Can't go in the closet. Where's the spoon? Oh, I found it. It's over here. Thank you very much. Am I gonna run into her at all? What's on these walls? A banana? Very artistic. Got some video game stuff. Can't read what that says. I really like this. <laughs> it's so peaceful. There we go. Scan the items and start the process. I will. Ready for launch. Okay, what are we launching, though? Can I do something here? Parameter. Impulse, force, impulse. This is so... Do I have to go stand here? Or am I, like, creating her out of a spoon, pencil, and a scrunchie? Oh, wait, do I have to... There we go. Big red button. Launching. Loading. 1.9 version. Okay. I bet it's gonna be her. I bet we're loading her into the game. Right? Portal is activated, it says right there. Oh, do I have to... Do I have to step into it? I do. What's happening? The lights are out. Restart the electricity at the front door. Oh, this is, this is way less peaceful. This is way less peaceful. Was that my way out? Hold on, I wanna look in the bathroom. Ooh, nope, I don't. It's too dark, that's too dark. Dude, you should've brought a flashlight into your video game. Hello? It says hello? No. No, you're gonna turn around and she's gonna be there and she's gonna be like, I love you. It's still too dark. What happened to the lights outside? What happened to the sun? Let me out. Okay. 
Find the server batteries and return to the device. No server batteries? I need to find four. Who are you? Who are you? <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's got red eyes and the heart is broken. A lot of these things have changed. What is that? That's a save file? Uh-oh. Okay, let's find some batteries. Don't you see me? I don't. No, I actually don't. Is there a battery in the toilet? Wanna play? Um. No? Is it gonna change if I turn around again? Hey. Hey! I'm stuck in the bathroom. Is she gonna come out of the vent or something? <gasps> battery! Battery! Take the battery. Okay, I got one. Oh no! Who are you? Who are you? Wait, maybe I want to go back. Maybe let's- uh, okay, fine. Is that someone at the end of the hallway? Wait, it's getting closer as I'm getting closer to it. Oh, I hate that effect. Oh, oh, it's so creepy for some reason. Oh, there is someone there. Who are you? Oh, and now it's stuck. Now it's, it's there. Oh, I'm in the kitchen. Hi. <laughs> Do you guys see anything else here? What is this? Can't tell what that is. I think that's a whiteboard. I don't think it's important. Take battery. Is this gonna be normal? It's normal. The radio's on now. Um, what's happening? Love note? What are those things? Are those flowers or petals? Can I turn this off? No, I'm scared. I need to find one more battery though, don't I? It's, it's gotta be somewhere in here. Cause I only have found three, I need to find four. <gasps> hey! The doll follows you! The doll follows you around! I really don't like that. I mean, I love it from a from a scary perspective, but from a um, staying alive perspective, my spidey senses are tingling that maybe that's not the best thing, the best thing for me. Where is this last battery? Oh, is it back in the kitchen? Is that what the flies are telling me? Oh. Oh God. Okay. I thought there was going to be like dead bodies or something, but there wasn't. Okay. I got all the batteries. I'm just going to safely and slowly walk into this room. With the demonic doll staring at me and place these batteries. Beep, 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 beep. Where do I put them? Oh, here. Um, where else? Here? Okay. And then here, maybe? Where do I put the batteries? Down here? Can I crouch at all? I can't crouch. Okay, there's this one. There needs to be one more battery somewhere. Here? Okay. Store device. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Launching 1.9 version. I'm just gonna stay here. Can I get out safely? Oh! What? It's back to being pink. 
No, no, we're staring at the doll. Why is it glitching though? Data transmitted. Kill a creator? Get all keys? K-I-I. -I. Sorry, that, that's not what that said. All right, well, it's back to normal. She's back to normal. She's still kind of creepy. She's still got like red eyes here. Let me go back into the bathroom really quick. Mm, it's locked. <laughs> Hi, alien. So we finally meet. I'm happy about it. You know, I must have, I know you must have questions. Well, as you can see, I made this special device to get you here to me as soon as possible. <laughs> but for some reason, you ended up in a wrong version of the game. That I, uh, oh, it's a long story. Anyway, it's nice to see you. We are together, saved. It's nice to see you too. Oh, oh, sorry. I, sorry. <laughs> Go to the kitchen, okay. Um, can I talk to you though? How did I get in the game? Let me tell you. And here you are. Okay, you didn't tell me anything. Got it? I don't get it. Well, that's okay. <laughs> the main thing is that we are together now. Okay. Um, what do I do if I want to go back? Do you want to go back already? Well, I guess that can be arranged, but what about me? Let's be together. Okay, are you Mita? Well, I am. Are you Alien? What if I say no? <laughs> what if I'm like, mm mm? Okay, and then what about this? Question mark? Does this computer work or is it decorative? Well, of course it works. Everything in here works. In my world, I use my computer often for work. I know. And because of this work, you paid so little attention to me. Well, I need to live somehow. And how do you know? Well, the phone's camera would turn on sometimes. I'm sorry, but I was peeking. <laughs> You know, it's a little wrong. Well, okay. All right, oh yeah, what about this doll? I think I know her. Is that Anita from Unfen Game? Yes. I remember that story. And the game uh, is not finished, right? Well, the low level of experience the developers had showed a sad result. She looks great. Okay, is that another game by the same developers, I'm assuming? Alright, uh, let's ask about this. Remember when you brought three things to the scanner? Yeah, so? These things are related to this version of the world. And now you're here! The scrunchie, so the hair scrunchie, which she is currently wearing, the spoon and the pencil are all related to things here. Is that a school uniform? Why do you need it? Do you go to school? I heard a thump. Uh, I don't need it, but the school uniform is cute. <laughs> and it will make me look cute. New clothes are available? Oh! <laughs> okay. Do we get to, to choose different clothes? Um, Alright, let's go into the bathroom now, since we can. Ooh, scissors? I don't think those scissors were there before, were they? Oh my god! Do you follow everybody into the bathroom? Jeez! Can I get some privacy? Alright, what is this? Why is there no reflection in the mirror? Oh, right! I forgot to turn on the reflection. <gasps> hey! Now, there's a reflection. There we go. Oh, you know, I didn't even know what it was. It wasn't in my world. Oh, a reflection? Until a certain update. <laughs> Are there a lot of reflections in your world? Uh, yeah. I'd say so. Uh, <laughs> we look so nervous. Is this actually what this guy looks like? I wish he'd comment on us and let us know. Okay, I don't think we can question anything else in here. Let's remember those scissors are there. Uh, it did say we needed to go to the kitchen, right? Let's go to the kitchen. I think I've interacted with everything that I could. Who's Miss Meta Universe here? Hi. <laughs> She's just following me around everywhere. All right, what is this? 
Do you use glasses? No, but I can wear them. Do you want me to? Um, go ahead or you don't have to. You don't have to. Well, okay. I guess we can like have her put them on. I don't know if that's just like a stylistic thing or if it's something that actually makes a difference. There are so many books. Do you read them? Oh, I've read every book. I've always been here, alone. I've been so bored. Okay. Well, now I'm here, and maybe we can be less bored. But also, maybe you can let me uh, go back into my world every once in a while, <laughs> so that I don't die here in a virtual nothingness. Are there TV channels? Well, there's not an antenna or cable television. It's connected to the internet. So, anything you can watch on the internet is available here. Oh, hey! Alright, this guy wants to watch something? Wait! What? What? Oh! What is that? Some kittens? Oh, look! <laughs> Why are you acting suspicious? What was that knife? You know... What? Wait. <gasps> Would you like some juice? Sure. Sh uh, should we drink it or refuse? Let's drink it. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Dead juice? Hmm, it tastes kind of tasty. And kind of tasteless. I can't explain. Why was that why was that called dead juice? Weird commercial? Is juice dead? What? That's right. And the juice came out of juice. What? What does that mean? What? My smartphone? Did I just drink blood or something? It was missing from my pocket. How did it end up here? Didn't you put it down? Well, it doesn't matter. Wait, I have an idea. Are we gonna take a selfie? <laughs> Ready to take a selfie? Aw, oh, cute! Oh, that is really cute, though. Look at that! Great picture! Keep this one as a memento. I have a question. If I start a game on my phone now, will I see you there? Oh, true! No one will be there. Hmm. So can I? I don't think I can. And then I think the final thing we gotta do is the kitchen. Oh, nope, actually. Let's look at some of this stuff. No, how many, how, matter how many times I uh, played, it never rained outside the window. Why do you need an umbrella? Rain is very rare. You haven't seen it yet. Maybe one day you'll encounter this and you could use an umbrella. Can we even leave this apartment though? Who knows? You know, is that even possible? And what is this? Why is the electric electric box here? Uh, if we're in the game, why do we need it? Well, first of all, we're in the game, right? So it's pointless to ask why. But it does restart the electricity, really. Everything is just like in your world. So, but it was turned off before, so I don't think that's going to get us out of this game in any way. Can we go out? Oops, uh, not yet. Let's do it later. Let's stay here first. At home. Alright, whatever you say. I'll listen to you. I wish I could look at the people at the very least. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Oh my god, stop. Stop, you scared me. What are you holding? Oh, she's drinking some juice? Okay, cool. Is that dead juice? I had to go to the kitchen. There's something there. Can we look at anything else, though? I love doing, like, a complete complete run through where we can see everything, especially because this game seems really cool so far. Why do you need a second TV? Oh, it's also odd. You don't like it? I can get it out of here, but otherwise... It's just for beauty. It decorates the kitchen. Uh, it's also a working TV. You can watch Looney Tunes. <laughs> okay, cool. Only Looney Tunes? That's the only thing you can watch in the kitchen as you're eating your snack? What about YouTube? Put on a nice YouTube video as you watch. All right, last thing uh, is whatever this is. Continue. A ring. 
Oh God. Are you hungry? Let's cook together, shall we? Um, what just happened? What are you doing? Here, help me with a carrot. Okay. Where did the vegetables come from? Yeah, and there was just a ring. After all, there was nothing here just now. Alien, we're in the game. Remember? Come on, help me out. Slice a carrot? Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. Okay. Oh, oh, I can do this much faster now. Oh, cool. Wait, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to get the hang of it. Thank you. And can you bring the scissors? They're in the bathroom. I do remember seeing those. Why do we need the scissors, though? Why do we need scissors all of a sudden? Can I get out of here at all? <laughs> this dude's like, yes, this is the dream. I don't have to work anymore. I can live in a virtual world. Um. <gasps> Wait, do I have options here? What is this? Check. <gasps> Are these different people? It said Morty? Did those all say Morty or were those different names? Hey, they're already up and the cockroaches are there. Am I gonna turn around and she's here? No, but it's us. Morty. Those look like almost like game files or something. Um, okay. Like little game cartridges? Ooh, were we in, oh, here's my theory. Were we in the different worlds? Um, like another person's uh, existence? Hey, she's done. For starters, have a seat. Okay. Why do I need the scissors, by the way? Cartridges are past the scissors. Should we mention the cartridges? Just see what she says. I'm gonna do it. Is something wrong? I found some cartridges in the vent. I just want to see what she says. They had name stickers on them. What are they? Cartridges? What kind? Let's find out together. But a little later. We'll eat first. Give me the scissors. Okay, I just wanted to see if she had anything interesting to say about that since it's the demo. Would you like some sauce? The only thing I can do is refuse. No. Too bad. The food tastes better with this. We can talk before we eat. Um, ooh. Oh, okay. A lot of different things. Why do you need scissors when you have a knife? Scissors and a knife? I can also build, open the sauce with a knife, of course. But I wanted, oh, but I wanted to have everything ready for your return. So you don't have to see the long preparations. Mm -hmm. I love making surprises. Yay! Uh, why is there white lights outside the windows? It's a feature of my world. It will seem strange to you, but you won't see things that are distant. I don't even think that's noticeable. It looks stylish. Yep. It's made to avoid lagging. <laughs> Lagging? Dude, you're in a video game. Uh-huh, there are bugs. I hope you don't encounter any. <laughs> um, everything looks like a dream in here. Do you intend to run away and forget everything? No, I just thought everything was very unreal. And colorful. It is very colorful, I love it. Uh, it seems pretty real. Seems? But I am real, dummy. Uh, ooh, when can I go home? Are you homesick? Why? It's so warm and nice here. And there's me. No, no. I'm happy to stay with you. But I'm worried that I might have forgotten to do something at home. I was suddenly here and I wasn't ready for this at all. Oh, sorry. I just didn't think. Nice home. It's cozy. Of course. Uh, you can stay here. I don't mind. I'm very much in favor of it. <laughs> Alright, bon appetit. Enjoy your meal. Let's do it. Looks pretty good, actually. Perfect. Now we've had our dead juice and our delicious meal. 
Have you eaten everything? And my portion seems... Endless. Stand up. Put the dishes in the sink. She's still eating. Is there like a little grain on the screen? Was this always here? No. Mita? What's happening? Oh god! Oh god! What happened? Tell me what you see and feel. My heart tingles? There's noise in my eyes. Okay, I know what's wrong with you. Can you get up? Try to stand up. Whoa. Okay, we're following her. I'm trying to look around. Oh, I'm in control. What does that say? Wait, go back. Can you go back? Oh no, I can't make her go back. We're going to the bathroom. What's happening? What? What are these? Pills? You'll feel better almost immediately. Stand in front of the mirror. Take the pills. I'm waiting. Should we do it? I have a feeling this is our only option. So how are you feeling? Do you feel better? Yes. But how could it happen so quickly? Alien, we're in the game. And everything is very simple. You make the slightest effort. But the result is usually much more voluminous. This is a game condition. Simplicity. For example, a carrot. You only cut one, but they will be ready. At, but they will be ready at once. Look, this is all so sudden. The situation really scares me. Is she gone? She's gone. Mita, find Mita. The beginning of the weirdness saved. Yeah, you took some random pills that a stranger gave you while you're trapped in a video game, either hallucinating or like, that door wasn't always there. Was that door there? Let me check the kitchen first. No, this is different. Am I in a different world? Can I go outside? That door was not there. You guys, this door was not here. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. <gasps> Am I in a different person's save file? I'm in a different person's save file. That has to be what it is, because you could customize the room. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. <gasps> oh, this is cool. Is that what it is? You know, because you can like, when you have like mobile games like this, you can customize it to make it look however you want. Hey, Mita. You're not my Mita, are you? Oh, you're awake already? How did you get here so quickly? You were there with me. No. You were frozen in front of the mirror. I left. What happened to the rooms? Well, I rearranged them. To make it more familiar to you. That is, the rooms are no longer in a row. But as they should be. You shouldn't have. It's like I'm used to it already. I think this will make you feel more comfortable. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Mita, can I leave? What the? <gasps> ah! It happens. The room did not have time to load. Okay. Wait a bit. Um, what if I don't want to? Oh, it's weird. Are we in someone's phone? And this phone is so is too slow to load? 
No. It's just that not everything um, made in this world is perfect. And we're alive because of the uh, core of this world. The core? Typical, huh? We can either play the console or cards. Take your pick. What? Play games with Mita? Oh! So we can play video games or cards? Let's play video games. Why not? Hi. <laughs> okay. Milk scandal? <laughs> what game shall we play? Uh, in this game, we have to fight. Figuring out who's more sour. What an idea! And then penguin snowballs. In this game, all you have to be is a penguin. <laughs> and slide on the ice. Let's do the penguin snowball. Let's do this one. That one seems fun. Ooh, I like this loading screen. <laughs> it's very simple. You need to collect snowballs. Obviously, whoever carries the most wins. Come on, let's play two rounds. Okay. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna be the best. Okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Ah, last one! Ha ha ha! I got you. <laughs> Wait, we tied? Oh, come on! Huh, one to one. Oh god, no. Mita, please. Mita, please. Just let me win. Just let me win once. Just let me win for once in my life. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got this. I'm competitive with an AI. Okay, I definitely got you this time. I got you this time. No! I wanted the last one. Okay, but I beat her. <gasps> oh, 16. Yes! Wow, what are you doing with all that? What do you mean? So let's play another game, shall we? Oh, so can I not uh, choose this? Or do we end it here? Let's, like, check out the milk sour and then we'll end it here. After this. Shall we fight? Okay, so jump, uh, hit, down, go right, and go left. Okay. Let me go first! Sorry, I wasn't reading what you were saying. I guess I'll go easy on you. I'm doing amazing. No, I'm getting serious. No, you're getting dead. Oh, wait. Maybe she is. We're on the offensive this time, guys. We're on the offensive. Come on. Yes. Ah, oh, you. Can you beat me now? Yes. Look, listen, 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 listen. You have one life left and I have many. I have so many. Yes. You are unbelievable! Your fingers are just something! Hey, thank you. <laughs> Sour milk. Alright. Nice. Amazing. Alright. Let's play cards, shall we? In my bedroom. Okay. I thought we were choosing one or the other. Is this your bedroom now? It is, yeah. Okay, sure. Let's play some cards, baby, and she just shows up. So, shall we start the game? Someone tapped through the window. There was a sound effect. I'll chip in to show some kind of damage, and then, uh, for example, let's say it shows a heart. Sorry. What? Then I do it on my part. Is that in the music, or is that whatever? Take some cards. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Oh, cute cards. Now it's my turn. Wow, I got some tasty cards. I'll go first. Your turn. Um, okay, what do I do? Okay, so that's five health. Wait, show cards? You, Mita? I swear, I'm hearing someone tapping on the window. Show cards? All right, I'm just gonna place one down. Victory is mine! Oh wait, I chose, I think I chose the wrong thing. Damages move. Can you guys hear that? 
I swear. Okay, so three health, uh, ten attack, five damage. Let's look at this. We'll try and figure it out. Um, so ten attack, three health, one, uh, defense. Wait, let me look at what I, um, I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> Yum, I ate it. Defenses move. Okay. Um, okay. Zero attack, ten health, two defense. Let's do this one. Yum, I ate it. What are you doing? I don't get it. Damages move. Yep. Okay. I swear, I swear I'm hearing. I used up all of my damages stuff. Let's do this one. I swear I'm hearing something tap on the window and it's distracting me so bad. Defenses move. Your turn. What's that sound over there? That's what I'm saying! It's coming from the closet. That's what I've been saying! Sound? What sound? I didn't hear any sounds. I mean, what does it sound like? It sounds like you're keeping someone in there. Knocking as if someone's in there. But there's... No one there. I'm going to check. It's very strange. Why? Open the closet again. Again? What do you mean again? Open? What are you doing? There's... My underwear is in there! Are you hiding something? Why don't you trust me? What am I doing wrong? I just want you to be with me. I'd like to promise that, but what happens next? Why do you feel so drawn to the closet? I just want to know what those sounds are. Just... This world... It's just these four rooms. Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> no! Will you just try to stay with me? The only thing I can do is deny. Stay is locked. I get it. Again. If you want to know what's out, then you'll find out. Now. <laughs> Snap of Darkness. Thank you for trying the demo version of the game. The game is currently in development. Storyline of the game is 15% of the overall thing. The storyline is already completed. There's still a lot of stuff waiting for you in the game, but we want to add more different interactions to open up the world more widely. You can watch the development process, even help us on Boosty. Oh, I loved that so far. New content as well. I really loved that. Oh my God. I'm so interested in the story because I want to know what she's hiding. This is a darkly humorous RPG about an office drone who discovers there are even scarier things than working the nine to five routine. Z sleeping. You awaken a, to an obnoxious ringing sound. Smash the sound or do nothing. Smash the sound! As you open your eyes, you see a damaged alarm clock. Then it dawns on you that it's time to get ready for work. You lie in bed and contemplate your next action. Get out of bed or go back to sleep. Um... You know what? Let's get out of bed. Let's have a good morning. Let's get a cup of coffee. Do some stretches. You got out of bed! Yay, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> nice. Are we completely naked right now? Dude, <laughs> do I need to censor these pixels? How do I move? The person looks familiar, but you can't remember who it is. Um... Ah, oh, there we go. It's your possibly damaged alarm clock. Okay, I'm getting used to the controls now. And our bookshelves. All right, let's leave. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, a uh, weird room with just closet. There's underwear and towels in the closet. Take a towel, grab, let's grab some underwear. You grab the underwear, you're pretty sure it's yours. Hopefully. There's underwear and towels in the closet. Take a towel too. There's underwear and towels, okay. 
That's good. You open the closet. You can see some cheap shirts, trousers, and ties inside. Um, grab a tie. You suddenly feel very anxious and back away. What? Okay. Can we put on some clothes, please? <laughs> Do we have to take a shower first? Shower time! You step into the shower and turn it on. Shower for longer or finish shower? Oh, we can shower for longer. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you know what? Let's just finish our shower. Maybe we can shower for, like, extra long. You are showered and sparkly fresh! Yay! I wish I had that, uh, like, every single morning. Like, I did something that was just, like, a basic task, but also sometimes hard to do in the mornings, and it's like, you showered! You got out of bed! You went to work! You're at the sink. Brush teeth, look in the mirror. Let's brush our teeth and then look in the mirror. Grab your toothbrush, what will you do next? Uh, put toothpaste on. Your toothbrush is disgusting and not going anywhere near your mouth. You grab your toothbrush, what will you do next? Wash brush? You clean the brush, attempting to remove the old food and bacteria. It sort of worked. What will you do next? Uh, put toothpaste on. Put toothpaste on the brush. What will you do with the toothbrush next? Brush teeth. You put the toothbrush in your mouth and start brushing. You brush left to right. Yes! You brush up and down. Yes! You brushed your teeth! Amazing. I feel so accomplished today. Oh, I want to look in the mirror, though. Oh, I can't look in the mirror anymore. Okay. Um, hi kitty cat. They're scared of me? Why are they scared of me? Let me go in here first. You haven't gotten enough time to go in there? Okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, no, I need to put clothes on actually though. And there's a big spider there anyways. I have to put on my t-shirt and tie, right? Cheap shirts, put on a shirt and trousers. You put on your cheap shirt and trousers, you almost convince yourself you are looking quite dapper. There's a cheap shirt, tra tra uh, grab tie, the tie, it haunts you every day. How can something so simple make your life so difficult? You try to remember the instructions. <laughs> First, you cross the wide end over the narrow end. Then look, then loop the wide end back underneath the narrow end. Oh, God, ah, I messed up. First, you cross the, okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why do I have to do it so fast? Second, you bring the wide end over the narrow end once more. Then you hold the front loop and then bring the wide end back. Well, when you explain it like this, yeah, it's confusing. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Finally, you pass the wide end down through the loop in front and tighten. Easy. You somehow put on your tie. There are cheap shirts, trousers, and ties. Um, oh, I think I'm good. Oh, look, I'm all dressed for the day. Yay, we're not going to work naked. That's an accomplishment in and of itself, isn't it? I hate the big spider though. It looks sad. Watch news? Sure. Good morning, I'm your host, Newton Newsman. Today's breaking headlines. Man jailed for threatening wife with moldy banana. Local woman uh, wins cabbage rowing contest for the third time. Hamster catches the train across country. Bearded internet streamer goes crazy searching for game secrets. That's me, minus the bearded part. And in sports news, man kicks ball and scores. You caught up on the news. Yay! There's a lamp here? Turn on. Why not? Alright, we'll leave that on. Our electricity bill is going to thank us later. You're at the phone? Sure. Uh, you got no one to call right now? Okay, cool. Oh, we've got our kitchen. Hi there! Your cat is very excited to see you! He's very hungry, having eaten- having not eaten for at least eight hours. Then something terrible dawns on you. You forgot cat food as you were working the late shift last night. Now he's blocking the way to the fridge. You wonder what to do. Shout out the cat or shoe cat? We're not gonna shout out the cat. Your attempt at chewing the cat away isn't exactly successful. The cat knows you are up to something and won't budge an inch. You'll have to get uh, him some food after work and convince him another way for now. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, this is cool. Oh God. Okay. Oh God, I died. Can I have another shot? Can I try again? Okay, here we go. We got this. Wait, how is he going diagonally? That's not fair! Okay. Okay, I got this. You will- you will- you will- you will love me! Kitty cat! My brain can't think and do games at the same time, okay? It's- it's difficult. You don't believe me, but it is. You gotta get- okay, I'm not even like- Hey! I survived. 
you pacified your cat! <laughs> Alright, goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Uh, can I- what is this? Dirty dishes? Can I look at the clock? It's a broken clock! Uh, let's go to the fridge. What do you want for breakfast? Crunchy McCrunch's nuts? Toast with peanut butter? Uh, let's do toast with peanut butter. Do Whoa! Oh! Oh, I have to play Pac-Man! Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I just have to survive for eight- It's been a long time since I've played Pac-Man! So I apologize if I'm not doing that good of a job. Wait, what's over here? Oh god. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, just let me win. Oh god, did I just die? Ah! No, 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 no! Oh my god, I'm so close to winning, please. I'm so close to winning! One more! Oh! Thank god! Okay. Get them all over here. Come at me. Ah! <laughs> I, gobbled, I gobbled some nuts for breakfast. <laughs> cool! You could have phrased it a little less suspiciously, but it's fine. You don't need to wash your hands. You stand over the toilet ready to do your business. Oh god. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, not nice. Oh. Oh no, not nice. Okay, we got that. <laughs> no, I missed it! I missed it! Come on. Come on, I got this. I got this. 600 points. That is not the sound I want to hear. Can you do other sound effects? <laughs> I went to the toilet. Yippee! You wash your hands. You were raised well. Thank you very much. You do not need to use the toilet again. Good. That was stressful. You remember you have some things to do upstairs before you leave? What do I have to do? And also, can I- I want to comment on the spider up in the corner. Alright, I have to do some things upstairs. What exactly? I don't know yet. Is it a room over here? Oh, this is just the bathroom. You're at the sink. Look in the mirror. You look beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, God! You suddenly freeze. Your eyes are drawn to the spider that dropped right in front of the door. It almost looks like it's guarding the way out. Oh, no! Listen, I'm terrified of spiders, but if you have the means to capture and release it outside, then try to. As you attempt to capture the spider, it feels threatened. It just moves so fast. Perhaps you can work it out peacefully. <gasps> the spider- sad spider prepares for battle! Oh, God! Um, pacify. Spider strikes by moving a bit faster. That made you jump. Oh god. No, I want more friendship. You greet the spider. Hi there, how's it going? Hey there, you freaky thing. <laughs> the spider didn't like that. I'm sorry! Um, can I defend? Spider moved, but you barely saw a thing. Oh god, okay. Um, you know what? Let's- what do I have skills-wise? Burn, shock, spray, heal? Let's heal. Take some deep breaths, healing you slightly. Spider strikes, uh, back by moving a bit faster. That made you jump. Okay, pacify. Uh, spider looked like it attacked, but it just shoveled, it le shoveled its legs. You greet the spider. Oh, spider ignores you. I don't know what I did. I meant to, I didn't mean to attack. Spider attacks by moving a bit faster. That means you jump. Okay, you greet the spider. No, I didn't mean, I don't mean to attack. I mean to move the dialogue forward and then it clicks attack. Okay, I have 10 health left. Um, how's it going? Spider seems to acknowledge you. Pacify. Spider strikes back. Bye. Moving a bit faster. That made you jump. Okay, I think I can do one more. You have the spider's interest. Just cheer up. Don't be so sad. Is something the matter? Spider seems to agree. Pacify. Spider strikes by back. Bye. Moving a bit faster. That made me jump. Okay, I have to heal this next time, I think. Spider looks at you with its eyes. Are you lonely? Are you hungry? Are you actually an alien? Are you lonely? Spider twitched. Oh, no. Okay, I have to defend. Spider moved, but you already saw a thing. What? I need to- no, I need to- no, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. The spider's gonna kill me. Spider strikes back by moving a bit faster. That made you jump. I, 
I gotta be better at making friends, I think. You wake up alert and jump out of bed. You feel like you just had a nightmare where you were scared to death by a spider. But then... <gasps> that spider prepares for battle! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do it again. Let's pacify. Spider looks at you with its eyes. Are you lonely? Are you hungry? Are you actually an alien? Should I just go with this one? I might as well. Spider ignores you. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Spider strikes back by moving a bit faster. So it must be the one where it says I'm hungry. Um, are you hungry? Spider seems to agree. Oh, do I have skills? Um, I don't want to kill it. Let's pacify. Spider strikes back. Bye. Moving a bit faster. That made you jump. Spider gestures like it wants something. Point at chocolate scraps towards the dead fly or towards toilet? Towards the dead fly, right? Spider looks at your offering and thinks you are a very sick person. I thought that they ate that! You know what? Let's, um, let's heal. You take a deep breath, healing you slightly. Spider looks like it attacked, but it just shuffled its legs. All right, uh, pacify instead. Strikes back. That made me jump. Spider gestures like it wants something, so we point towards the chocolate scraps. Spider looks at your offering. Okay. And that cheered them up. Spider hides under the furniture. Thank you. I just bargained with a spider. Cool, all right. Hey, and now we're outside. In our purple world. I can't go over to the left. I thought it would be worth a try. I like the music. Hey, it's a bird. Wow. What? Oh my God, stop, 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 stop. I was about to say what a lovely day. Significantly less lovely. Um, you're not meant to be here. This is too early? What did I do? Too good of a job? I haven't had time to build everything yet. Who are you talking to? With me? There's so many things I wish to show you. Well, I'm gonna keep walking forward. It will be so fun! But you're gonna have to wait a little longer. You think you saw it all? No, not yet. I wanna know what else you have for me. You didn't even find the easy secret? I didn't? What secret? I interact with everything! What are you talking about? Excuse me? Do I have to go back? You're going to have to leave? Are you telling me, like, exit the game? I have a feeling he's talking to us. Please exit now? No, you can't tell me what to do. Time to reboot again. No, stop. No, stop. Reboot again? Okay, let's try that again. No, you try it again. Stop. You're like a bug I just can't fix. I'm gonna keep going forward. A bug? Like a spider? This is my world. I control it. No. No. Well, I'm gonna keep forging forward. Because you told me there was a secret I missed and I'm mad about it now <laughs> that I missed anything. Die? Die. Die. I don't... I don't want to. Thanks for playing Data Break. I hope you enjoyed this. Please wish list on Steam. I actually really enjoyed that. A lot of the games were very fun. And I'm kind of intrigued to see how that ending works into it. Did I actually miss a secret like in the demo itself? Or is that just leading into like the bigger picture that the game is going to have secrets hidden in it that we are able to find? Also, I have a feeling that if you choose to like kill the spider or do anything, there might be branching paths there. But I really enjoyed that demo so far. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It had a little bit of horror, a little bit of humor, and a little bit of um, like really engaging ga gameplay. This next demo is for a game called Desktop Explorer. And in this game, we are going to be, you guessed it, exploring someone's desktop, which may or may not have some secrets hidden in them. All right, let's get started. To begin our session, we should select a user. Oh, these require passwords. Admin and, uh, I don't know how to say that name, Masatio? Let's do Halibut. Let's log in. Sign in. Yay! All right. Got a 90s, early 2000s desktop. 
And what was that? A plane? A star? No, it's your new narrative text reader, Storyteller Plus. Tell the stories you want, however you want. Bring your stories to life with the typewriter style self-writing feature. Make your text pop with a little shake and rainbow colors. Add our new easy to use tags to your old note page files and enjoy the show. And then we have gold mine hiring. Apply now. This is how Storyteller plus file looks when opened on a normal text editor. Amazing. Check out this example from one of our talented developers. And then we have some stuff here. Should we just start clicking on things? Replace mouse and keyboard. Oh, task list. Buy speakers compatible with this thing. Find a way to connect to the internet. The ethernet port is completely broken. Check folder for family photos. Edit so cute. Call mom and tell her about it. <laughs> um, check folder for inheritance and then install desktop explorer. So we have to do that next. Let's look at some stuff though, since we have it. We have documents, inheritance, farewell letter. The following is for my brother's child's eyes only. This is your inheritance. Of all my possessions, I consider this the most valuable. I never got into journaling, but I do know I liked recording my thoughts from time to time. I think some of the files are corrupted. You are young, I'm sure you'll figure it out. In this computer, you should look for these three things. There are other users, the previous owners of this computer, okay. A folder called Project X, the installer for a program called Desktop Explorer. I don't remember how I came across it, nor why I installed it. These three and my uneasiness towards them. I have a feeling they are all related. I leave this to you for the only thing as big as your heart is your ability to solve mysteries. At last, it is not common to have the opportunity to craft your last words with someone as dear to me as you've been. So I'll end this text with a poem. If we are apart, look at the moon, for I will do too. If I am gone, look at the stars, for I am with you. Goodbye, Guppy, your uncle. Okay, very sweet letter. And this was in 2023. Interesting. So are we just like on a really old computer right now? Um, let's look at this next. Is this supposed to be like down more? Feels like it's shifted up. <laughs> That's okay though. Um, okay, uh, this one is completely blank. Edit source code. Can I look at this? I can. So I can copy this. We got some secrets here. Help and then yeah, anything here. Okay, um, and that looks like it's corrupted. And there's this one, source code. This one might like actually be a code. You know what I mean? Oh, here we go. Okay, we got some stuff. Oh, wow, okay, look at me. I'm figuring out secrets and all that. I've seen these, I've seen these things at electronic stores and I still can't believe I am my own computer at home, let alone as a gift. Funny enough, I heard this was originally by an old colleague from HR. Um, can I like scroll over? I think I have to highlight. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can use this thing to go here. All right, so this is corrupted. You still mad that we had to postpone our yearly fishing trip four times already? I fear his sickness is back and that his pride is stopping him from asking for support. I need to confront him about it. Then do we have anything else? I think that's the end of it. Okay, so sickness is back. Fishing trip four times already have been canceled. That's that one. Ooh, okay, this file appears to be corrupted, cannot be opened. And then this one is from 8141990X. Um, so those are old files. So that was inheritance. Let's look at family photos, family Christmas image. Aw, cute. <laughs> Little baby with the Christmas socks. And then old Betsy. Okay, cool. There's somebody in the back. Since this is a mystery solving game, we have to take note of every single pixel that we see on the screen. And then the fishing trip. Big bro fishing. Okay, and then Old Betsy and First Christmas. Those are our three items there. Can I do anything? View hidden files? Can I do that in here? View hidden files, go, favorites. <gasps> Wait, can I do that here? <gasps> there was something hidden, STP. Okay, are these all corrupted? Is there a way that I can um, decode this? It doesn't look like a code that I recognize. Maybe I can decode it in some way though, because there's um, things there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure it out like during this demo playthrough, but it'd be interesting to see if I could do that. Finally starting to use this computer again. Busy couple of years and strangely, I feel like I don't remember much of blank. I swear I didn't download it. It's actually pretty fun for edutainment kind of thing. Maybe blank will grow up, play it and become one of those computer whiz, become a computer whiz. Okay, so I'm assuming that's talking about Desktop Explorer. Um, and it's got a really creepy, like, uh, song every time that plays. But I'm assuming it's from the Storyteller area. So um, let's look at what else we got. Project X. Please input the file's password. I don't know what that is yet. Duplicate. 
Okay, duplicating folders is not supported at this moment. Um, so we looked at documents already. Let's look at downloads. Um, can I do anything? View hidden files. Nothing here. I really like this. I love games with secrets and codes and things that you can solve. Um, okay, this was this. Word wrap. Nothing here. Format, view, help. Okay. Um, so that's that. I think the only thing to do is look at either web server, because we already looked at our tasks, right? With that, a play and a star. Oh, this is this. Edit, view, bio, refresh. Apply now. Oops, no internet connection found. I don't think I can do anything more with the web surfer. So in that case, should we just log out? No. All right, let's 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 do desktop and explorer. This is the whole point. This is the name of the game. We got to figure out what the, what the problem is here, you know? Hello, and welcome to Desktop Explorer. I'm Pizarro, and I'll assist you during this experience. If you're ever stuck on the puzzle, click on the mm, light bulb icon in your taskbar below, and I'll give you a hint. Okay, cool. Can I do it now? When in doubt, ask Pizarro a winky face. Okay, thank you, Pizarro. I'm going to put you right there. Uh, there's no internet connection available, and then we have the different volumes. Can I ask you now? Desktop Explorer? Puzzle Zero Prologue? Wait, readme.png, let's read this first. Desktop Explorer, learn your computer's features with an exciting adventure, how to play. Desktop Explorer will test your abilities using your new uh, new NOS powered system. Use your creativity with the features of each NOS software from your computer. Navigate through folders of this intriguing story of exploration. By solving puzzles, you'll unlock password protected folders to advance. Learn, have fun, complete your adventure. Will you discover the mysteries of the cave? Will you answer all of its riddles? Will you uncover some secrets within you? Will you become a desktop explorer? Can I see anything secret in here? I'm gonna click on like every single thing to get me as as ready for this as possible. View hidden files, nothing hidden here. Puzzle zero prologue, no hidden files. Lost on the shore.stp. You are lost. You find yourself between the sea and lush forest, dragging your feet in the sand of a beach you've never seen before. Aside from your wits and senses, you bear only a small compass which has been damaged in a fall. Among the shore's dark rocks, you spot what looks to be the entrance of a cave. Approaching it reveals its entrance is narrower than what you anticipated. However, the grotto seems broader and deeper as it goes. As it starts to rain heavily, your weary feet welcome will welcome this shelter. You are lost as it starts to rain heavily. Let me look at the source code. You find yourself between the sea and lush forest. Okay, so that has wave and shake. What appears to be... Okay, so this looks... This, this doesn't look like anything anything new other than what we're seeing seeing here okay let's just keep that open for right now so that's the stp your hand that image um you bear a small compass what has been damaged in a fall so that's our hand there cave's mouth okay and that's the cave puzzle one go in Remember, if you ever need a hint, just click on that light bulb icon in your taskbar below me. I'll do your best to help you. I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you, Pizarro. I got this, though. I got this. Don't even worry about it. Puzzle 2 Ancient Ruins is closed, so inside.stp. As you glance up inside your new shelter, you notice a few cracks between the boulders on top. Feeling the lack of natural light here, despite not being able to see much among the cave's darkness, you stumble upon a stick next to a rolled-up scroll. As you open it, you quickly realize it is comically long. Okay, source code. As you glance up, you see this lack of natural light. You realize it's comically long. Oh, I can do word warp. Okay, that helps me a lot. Oh, now I can actually read the whole code. Okay, that's much better. All right, so we have the inside.stp and then long scroll. Chant my name, oh child, your voice will bear my fire. Um, okay. Long scroll. Oh, I thought the stick was comically long. It was talking about the scroll is comically long. But this is what it all it says inside the cave image. Okay, I don't see anything. Okay, so I have to puzzle ancient ruins. Oh, please input the file's password. Chant my name, oh child, your voice will bear my fire. I'm assuming it's going to be the name of whatever this is. Um, your voice will bear my fire. Anger, maybe? 
Incorrect po- password. Okay, it's got to be a riddle. It's got to be a riddle. Oh, there's a hidden file. Puzzle 8 Alter. Ooh, okay, so there is a hidden file there. <gasps> when dis- dusk surrounds me, Inanna lights my path? What is that? I scroll down here. Okay, I got to remember to scroll down places. I'm going to put in Inanna. No puzzle match for you. Nice one. Oh, wait, did I get in? I did. When dusk surrounds me. Okay, so that wasn't much of a puzzle, though. But what about alter? What is the file's password? Okay, well, maybe we can find that later. Okay, there's no more hidden paths in this one, though. Um, I'm going to remember that. Puzzle 8 alter. I don't know if we're going to be able to unlock that in the demo. And I'm just going to minimize all this. I have too, way, too, like, way too many tabs open, but it's fine. Lighted path. After barely pronouncing the name you read, the tip of the stick you were holding kindled into a soft flame. Now you hold a torch of suspicious origin. With a now-lighted path, you press onto a room with a wide strip of papyrus on the floor. Pap- papyrus? <laughs> you notice strokes and writing scattered in it, along with some suspicious traces of creases. You read, answer quickly, and answer proud. Oh, solve my riddle. Say it out loud. I garden the flowers with my hose. Wouldn't you know it? I use my nose. The rest is lost between folds. Okay, let's look at the source code, too and word warp it, just so that we can have it here. Um, Let's look at long papyrus uh, strip here. Okay, and then we just have this. What does this mean though? Format word warp? Ah! What? Oh wait, I gotta- (gasps) Guys, it's taking shape! Wait, how do I make it fit? All right, I think it's like that, right? But you wouldn't call it a nose. What would you call it? Nobody knows. Trunk? A trunk. Because it's an elephant. Is that what it's supposed to be? Okay. Okay. And then we have flat stone on ground as well. And it has N. N on it. Ooh, are there hidden letters in each of these? Is that what's going to open up puzzle eight? Flat stone on ground. Um, let me close the task list really quick. Let me close some of this stuff, actually. So there's our hand. See, I don't notice any letters in here, though. But these pictures must help solve something. Flat stone on ground one of five. Your hand. That doesn't have anything there. Cave's mouth. Hmm. This is interesting. All right. Narrow tunnel. Trunk. I think it's trunk. Aren't you a clever one? Yes, I am, Pizarro. Puzzle cleared. I love puzzles. I love puzzles so much. Um, Okay, a cross tree trunk STP. Um, Let me see, view hidden files to see if there's anything. If you solve the riddle uh, after folding the papyrus, you notice a hollow tree trunk in the distance. Lighting uh, the inside of it, you find a hidden passageway and make your way through it. You stand up and find yourself in an empty enclosed space within the cavern. It seems to be a dead end. Just as you start to lose hope and begin to head back, you start to recall words of advice from a detective show you watched as a kid. Read between the lines and find the source of truth. Um, Only then you can crack the code. You think there are no lines within these cave walls. Detective or not, what am I supposed to do? Look at the source code, baby. Look at the source code. Word warp. Okay, on your left, you will find a fake wall. What am I supposed to do? Um... Hollow tree trunk in the distance, lighting the inside of it, you find a hidden passageway. Okay. Fake wall? Is that the code? That must be the code. Okay, across tree trunk, and then there was no hidden files here, right? Yeah. Puzzle four. Fake wall. No puzzle is a match for you. That is right, Pizarro. Pizarro, you know me. I'm the puzzle queen. Okay. Um, so that's fine. I'm going to minimize. I'm just going to keep some of this stuff minimized. Puzzle five, big door. Let's look at the hidden files. There is none. Left door. I'm going to open this first. Left room. Oh, it's the same color here as this one. Behind left doors. As you open uh, it, you see a wall with a rune scripture painted on it. Below the rune, you see a word in an alphabet that you can read. Is this the name of the rune? As you open, you see a wall with a rune scripture painted on it. Below the rune, you see a word in alphabet you can read. What is the name of the rune? i got to figure out what the name of the rune is. Let me look at the source code again. There's a couple things that help you with these puzzles, right? 
um, that you can do. Uh, and one of those things is just using the various tools that like the developer can give you. Rename it, rename it, <gasps> rename the file. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, let me look at this. Cannot open more windows. This is has ran out of memory. All right, I'll close some stuff. I'll close some stuff here. There we go. As you open it, you see a wall with a rune scripture painted on it. Below the rune, you see a word in an alphabet can you, uh, that you can read. Is it related to the other door? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Freepaths.stp seems to be watching like those detective shows paid off. Passing both of your hands on the cave's wall, you noticed a spot that feels different from the rest. It only takes a light push for it to crumble and reveal a new path behind its paper mache fake wall. Hidden behind this neat ruse, you encounter three doors. Two of them lay behind you and the largest one in front of you. Below the central door, there is a yellow key. You try your luck using it, but the door won't budge. There is an engraving in the key, but it's very hard to read. Okay, let's look at the word warp here. However, you make you barely make out the words. An image is worth a thousand words. IMG. And I so an image is worth a thousand words. Am I supposed to be looking at these images? Below the central door, there is a key. You try your luck using it, but the door won't budge. It's very hard to read. Okay, I'm going to keep this open. I'm also going to close the lighted path. I'm going to close some of this stuff since it says there's too many tabs open. Hi there, Pizarro. How's it going? Um, three paths. I already read that, didn't I? And then there's key. That, uh, this. Oh, I need to put it as PNG, don't I? Or do I need to make it an IMG? Can I rename this? I can. IMG. A new copy of the file has been created because the current user did not have permission. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, I'm amazing. Okay, every lock obeys Hortonus. What does that mean? And then there's this, so rename it, and then the thing. Uh, flat stone on ground image. Hey, two of five, so N-A. All right, I'm gonna keep those two open. I'm gonna close the rename it since I think I got the hint that I needed from that. Here's the three paths and then the key. Every lock obeys Portonus. That's the key to puzzle five big door. Portonus, submit. No puzzle is a match for you, nice one. Thank you, Pizarro, thank you. I love it, thank you so much. All right, now we're in and we gotta solve puzzle six. Puzzle eight is still on the very first page if you guys remember. Let's open up Overwhelming Darkness. You tinker the key into shape, revealing its message and ready to turn the lock with it. You reveal the darkest passage you've encountered. As you delve inside, the torch you have been carrying barely lights your arm, while everything else is completely lost in blackness. Shortly after you start to doubt yourself, you think of heading back. Your vision gets completely devoid of light, and the last spark from the stick expires. Rather than panicking, calm surrounds you. Somehow, you feel even more capable of revealing what's hidden in the dark. Okay, hidden in the dark. Um, expand your view. Let me word warp this. Um, there's a way to reveal what's not been seen. Okay. So let me open up some of this other stuff. Fleeting face dot image. Cannot open more windows. The system has ran out of memory. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, um, hidden files. Hidden files. There we go. Okay, that's what it is. Um, heightened senses .stp. the improvement of your vision has reached its peak the dark still hinders your sight but you feel comfortable moving with it you have started noticing details and walls further than your arm's distance you find a boulder next to you with an engraved warning okay engraved warning.png keep out hold on reaching this point must have required coverage but not going past it is utter foolishness heed my words and turn back now before it's too late Cassandra and Cassandra has to be the code because all of the codes have had these um, brackets around them. Let me close the overwhelming dark. We have to still look at the fleeting face. Oh my god. Oh my god. Clippy. Clippy, I'm scared. Okay, let's open up the ground. So um, it's N A S, right? N A S so far? Or what those are? I'm just going to minimize this for now. Okay, so we have this. I don't like that at all. All right, uh, but our code is going to be Cassandra. Good job on that last puzzle. Thank you so much. I'm going to close this fleeting face because it's actually giving me the chills to stare at it. 
Uh, keep at it. Thank you so much. Puzzle 7, Following the Dark. I don't trust that it's open right now. All of the other ones have been closed. You ignore Cassandra's warning and press on, only to find a contrasting scene, a calm and lighted room surrounded by stalagmites. You clearly see the way forward, but your intuition tells you that these stalagmites are worth paying attention to. This short break soothes your anxiety. You continue on. All right, let's look at the source code. Format, word warp. You can see carved symbols on some of the stalagmites. Okay, but you're not telling me what they are. Stalagmite formation. Oh, rub, R-U-B-I, and then these look like runes. Oh, Rubicon? Is that what it is? But this is already open. Deadend.stp. View hidden files. Flat stone on ground, four out of four images. And then that's a K. Four out of five. So I don't have the fifth one. And then there's dead end. Continuing the trail past the stalagmite scene, you reach an uneventful dead end. Based on your experience during this exploration, you are convinced that there is something that more uh, meets the eye. You spend the following hour inspecting every crevice of the walls that surround you. Now you can be absolutely certain there is no path forward. While scratching your head, pondering on what to do next, you hear a loud thunk fall off uh, the, in the distance of the cave. All right, let's look at the source code. Um, word warp, here we go. The stalagmite formation must have a purpose. It sounded like it might have come from the entrance. While scratching your head, pondering what to do next, you hear a loud thunk far off in the distance of the cave. Okay, so that's going to probably be at the very beginning, because remember right here, the hidden files? Wait, what happened to this puzzle? I don't remember these files being here earlier. What's happening? Stuck and no escape? Wait, why are you confused, Bizarro? Also, I never found the fifth photo here. I'm going to close the dead end really quick and the stalagmite because we have this, we have this, and then we also have um, all of these except for the last one. But the first one, is it was N something, flat stone on ground, 205. So it was N-A-S-K. Was it N or was it M? N-A-S-K. N-A-S-K and then a last one at the, at the back. Is there any word that is like that? N-A-S-K? What happened to this puzzle? Okay, let me look at stuck.stp. Even after, ooh, God. Retracing your steps perfectly, you doubt your sense of direction as the cave's mouth is nowhere to be seen. It's only when you find a scroll from the beginning of your adventure on the ground that you hear a storm outside. You have successfully backtracked to the entrance, but the landscape has changed. The only exit from this cavern onto the shore now has been replaced by walls and stalagmites. On the ground lies a chisel of some kind. You could use it to carve some symbols in this new landscape. Oh, okay, edit source code. You've st seen stalagmites before. Your senses are telling you there's something hidden here. Format, uh, word warp, just to see everything. Okay. Uh, let me keep stuck open and then no escape dot image. Cool. Love to see it. Do I have to move the stalagmite formation into this file? Is that what they're telling me? And then there's also puzzle eight. Let me see if I can put in Rubicon. Oh wait, I didn't mean to, and it's a C. So, Rubicon. Good job, you cleared puzzle seven. Things are getting a bit weird though. Why don't you stop here for today? No, no, I don't want to, no. Okay, well I put that in anyway. So that must be the stalagmite, but then what is the last one? You know, these five fi picture files? Oh, it's five out of five. Is that an E? N-A-S-K-E. I don't know what that means. Good job, you cleared Puzzle 7. Pizarro, you can't tell me to stop. Unless it's the end of the demo, then you can tell me to stop. All right, then there's a weird stone formation here. I'm going to close this stuck here, and maybe the stalagmite as well. Um, and let's look at the altar. The moment you stop carving the wall before you start to move, it's as if a small earthquake took over the cave. The landscape revealed in front of you is now a long hall-like chamber. It resembles an auditorium for an altar. Its features seem designed by humans, yet shaped by regular erosion. At the center, you find a pillar with two small towels stacked on with stones on top. Inspecting them reveals both of these are stuck in a place and that each stone is engraved with a letter. When reading these letters from bottom up, both towers spell ever eating. You wonder if something is missing here. Source code. Um, format word warp. Come to think of it, you've been finding a lot of these flat stones around the cave. Oh, that must be the flat stone on ground. Okay. The moment you stop carving the wall before you starts to move. Ever eating. Do I have to like un... 
like N-A-S-K-E. Like, do I have to make a word out of it? Like unscramble it? I wonder if that's what it is. It could be snake. Ah. Uh. Zara. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're not supposed to be sulking around? Not on our watch? Duage and self- You shouldn't be here? Okay. Okay! 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 Log out now? Okay. I will. I will. Anything you ask of me. End of demonstration. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Fatal exception of oh, this occurred. <gasps> okay. Press any key to restart. It's going to restart me anyway, isn't it? Oh, man. That was cool. That was very cool. I have some theories already. Um, I really like how there were secrets like hidden in and you had to dig into the files. Um, and like explore as much as you could. And you were rewarded for exploring because it was part of the puzzles and everything. Okay, and then I don't think I can enter the password for any of these. Maybe in the full game. Oh, I really liked that though. I like some of these. I've seemed to see an uptick in uh, kind of desktop, um, desktop explorer, but like uh, kind of like 90s, early 2000s desktop that kind of like mingles in horror as well. But I've been enjoying them a lot, especially because you can do a lot of like puzzle type games while doing this. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the three demos that we played on the channel today. I know I did. Be sure to wishlist them on Steam if you enjoyed them to help support the developer. And also let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me play a full playthrough um, so I can keep track of the game and play it when it does come out. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I really love good puzzle-solving games. Like, puzzles that make you feel really smart, like when you figure them out.